Mm, it's like that. Guys, let us prep for our papaya and as you can see I am removing all the skin and later we're gonna shred it. Now uh, let us shred our papaya and as you can see I'm shredding it. It really depends on how small or how big you want. I use the one that's on the upper that's kind of a little bit a little bit um, bigger. Now it's time to cut our uh, red bell pepper. Uh, as you can see, I cut it sliced and thinly. It's, I use uh, red bell pepper because it's so beautiful in the eyes of the people. It can catch their attention, but you can use whatever color you prefer. Now let us cut the red onion. As you can see, I'm cutting it uh, like dice. I make it dice. I used red uh, onion because it's beautiful in the eyes. Now I'm cutting the jalapeno pepper. Yes, guys, I put jalapeno pepper on my achara so there is a catch like a, a little bit of spiciness now i'm cutting the onion i mean uh, the carrots i'm slicing it you can make a little bit of decoration uh, if you want to but as you can see i just slice it real thin so that uh, it can easily be cooked and that's it guys Now let us put salt to our shredded papaya and smash it a little bit and do this from all like we mixed the salt so that the yung kinatawag na dakta maalis and para to make a little bit soft of the papaya we're gonna wash this later Now, uh, we're going to wash our shredded papaya to remove the saltiness that we did and also to remove the yung dakta ba ng papaya para 
it's uh it makes the papaya soft as you can see the looks of the papaya looks soft now and continue to do that procedure as you can see and to remove the water from the papaya Now in a pan, let's put water. Uh, I put about one and a half cup of water and also about one cup of sugar, brown sugar and allow the sugar to melt. Now, let us put uh, ginger powder in our uh, shredded papaya and put a lot, me, I put a lot, I love ginger in any food I make, as much as possible, I want the ginger. So also we put uh, garlic salt, just a little bit of, oh no, garlic powder. Let's put garlic powder and uh, mix it up with your hand and smush a little bit so that the water from the papaya will bring the taste of the ginger and the garlic. Now I taste it. Now I will put uh, more uh, garlic powder, I need it more. As much as it is mush it again until you get the desired taste. Now on our water with the brown sugar, let us put uh, Suka, I use, I mean, of garlic. I use the sukang paumbong. It tastes delicious. Also, I want to put uh, a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. It adds to the taste of the vinegar. It tastes uh, differently. Really delicious. Now let us put our carrots. I put first the carrots because it's uh, you know a little bit tough than the rest of the veggies. But don't overcook. Now, this time, let us turn off our stove and put uh, the pepper, the uh, onion, and the rest of the veggies. And make sure that uh, your, your stove is already off so it won't uh, overcook your uh, vegetable. And now let us mix our 
papaya salad mix it and mix it and mix it so that the vinegar and will really mix with our papaya and taste it And this is our papaya. It tastes so good. You can taste the sweetness of the apple cider vinegar. And also you can taste the spiciness of the jalapeno pepper. It tastes so good, guys. Hi, guys. Uh, let's taste the... Let's taste this achara and see how uh, de uh, delicious it is. We'll get some. I'm eating this with the fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Let's eat it with chicken. Rock. Rock, guys. I put jalapeno. Mm -hmm. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit like and make a comment. Every time you make a comment, I go to your channel and give you a support. Okay guys, thank you so much and I'll get in touch with you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.